This is a scan of a patient having a brain tumor called as craniopharyngioma. This tumor actually proved fatal for this woman. This patient is actually a 44 years old female patient. Uh, what you can see on the screen here is the CT scan of the patient done on emergency basis. And what I'm showing you right now is the coronal view. The patient was having a huge tumor. That's the calcium part, the hyperdense, and that's the edema all around, which is causing compression on the brainstem, upper part, and causing obstruction of CSF outflow, which can lead to a condition called as hydrocephalus, where you can see the ventricles, the lateral ventricles are kind of dilated along with the third ventricle as well. That's the basal artery behind, you can see very clearly. So this patient's tumor is actually compressing and going behind, which I'll show you in the sagittal scan is actually compressing on the brainstem. So the patient had complaints of decreased intake since two months, and the patient was brought by the relatives with sudden decreased responsiveness. The patient was not able to follow any kind of command. The GCS scale was around E2, V2, M4. This is the sagittal scan, which can give you a much better idea of the extent of the tumor. You can see that's the cystic component up there which is actually compressing on the optic chiral. That's the brainstem behind, and that's the cerebellum. Uh, that's the midline, which I'm showing you right now. You can actually see the brainstem is kind of getting pressed on, and that's the calcified, and that's the cystic part of the tumor up there, which is causing obstruction to the CSF outflow. Now, uh, this patient has raised intracranial pressure, and the reason why this patient uh, was in a drowsy state is that the patient was having raised ICT, uh, the investigation showed that the patient also had high procalcitonin levels, which is the indicator of a marker of severe bacterial sepsis. The patient was also having sepsis, uh, which led to multi-organ dysfunction uh, condition. Uh, the patient also had a very huge possibility of uh, brainstem along with the uh, infundibular stock compression, which led to a lot of electrolyte imbalance uh, this patient had a sodium level of more than 160 milli equivalents per liter, which is severe hypernatremia, uh, which was the reason for her drowsy state, which caused the altered sensorium lethargy. This patient did not have any seizures, though. Uh, the patient had a mass effect, brainstem compression, dyselectrolemia, high sodium levels, diabetes insipidus, that is basically also had severe dehydration. And this patient was planned to... Uh, be put for EVD, but the platelet count was also very, very low, less than 10,000, so that could not be done. The patient eventually landed up with MODS and had a cardiac arrest and the patient could not survive.